Hello and welcome to Lesson Silla. In today's video tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use Intune to deploy Windows updates to your company owned devices. Now, I have logged into portal.office.com using my global administrator account. I'm going to click on Endpoint Manager. This will open up Intune Admin Center. In here, click on Devices. Click on Windows and click on Update Rings for Windows 10 and later. In here, click the plus icon to create a profile. Let's give it a name. I'll call it Windows Updates. Um, I'll call it Policy 1. Now, in this tutorial, I'm going to create two policies. The first policy is going to get applied to a test group and the second policy is going to get applied to the entire company. So let's click Next. Now, these are the default settings, of course. You can change them as per your requirements. Um, now, the first one, Microsoft Product Updates, let's leave it as Allow. Windows Drivers, yes, we want to update them. Now, this is where I want you to pay a little bit attention. Uh, quality Update Deferral Period. So what I will do is I'll leave this as zero. Um, and feature update deferral periods, I'll leave it as zero. So since this, this is the first policy and we're going to apply this to a test group, the test group will get all the latest updates. And for some reason, if those newer updates seem to break something in your environment, you have the opportunity to go to the second policy and stop those updates being applied to the larger set of devices for your entire organization. So that's the um, reason for creating two policies. So the first policy will get applied to a test group. All goes well. After a couple of days, the um, other devices in your organization will get the updates via the second policy. So I'm going to leave these values as zero. Um, upgrade Windows 10 devices to latest Windows 11 release. We don't want to do that. Um, in this tutorial, at least, but you have the option to do this um, if you wanted to. Um, now, set feature update uninstall period to 60 days. Um, just leave it default um, for now. Enable pre-release builds. I recommend that you leave it not configured. Um, and automatic update behavior, auto install at maintenance time. So in here you can um, define what are your active hours. So um, when the time comes for the Windows updates to get installed, it will happen outside of these um, active hours. Now option to post Windows updates, it will this will give the user, the end user, the opportunity to post the updates, but I don't want that to happen. So I'm going to click disable. Um, so the end user will have no choice. The update's going to um, go to the devices when the time is right. Um, option to check for Windows updates. I'm just going to leave it as enabled. Um, notification update level. I'm just going to leave it as the default. But if you like, you can uh, turn off all notifications um, as well depending on your requirements. Now, use deadline settings. This is something that you can configure. If you set the setting to allow, you can set a, a, a a deadline by which these updates must be installed. Um, so depending on your requirements, once again, you can set this up. I'm just going to leave it as not configured for this tutorial. I'm going to click next. In here, as I mentioned before, I'm going to apply this policy um, to a test group. So let's um, search for my test group. So I've created two Azure AD device groups. Um, one is called Windows Updates Company-wide and the other one is called Windows Updates Test Group. So the first policy is going to get applied to the test group. I'm going to select the test group and click Next. In here, it'll give you a summary of all your settings. Double check them before enabling to make sure that you've enabled all the settings that um, you require and click Create. All right, so that's the first policy, and I'm going to create the second policy now. Um, let's call it Windows Update Policy 
two. You can give it a more user-friendly name. I'm just using policy one and policy two so that it's easier for me to explain this. But in reality, you can use a much better naming convention. Um, click Next. Now I'm going to leave the settings, the default settings as it is, except I'm going to change this uh, quality update deferral period from zero to uh, three days. I'm going to do the same for the feature update deferral period, which means um, when the quality updates and feature updates are available, they're not applied to uh, the rest of the devices uh, for three days. So the first policy will get these updates as soon as they're available. The second policy will get them after three days that they're available. So um, if any or multiple devices within that test group in the policy, in the first policy, um, you know, gets funny or they stop working and you have some suspicions that the updates got something to do with it, it'll give you time to troubleshoot and confirm. And if you confirm that it's in fact the updates that's, that's broken things, you have the time to come in here and defer the um, the quality and feature updates for the rest of the uh, organization. So um, majority of your devices are safe. Um, and that's the idea of the second policy. So um, I'm just going to leave everything else um, standard as the default values. I'm going to click next. In here, I'm going to add the, um, the majority of the devices, which is this group here. This is a device group, Windows Updates Company Wide. And I'm going to select that. And I'm going to exclude the 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 group that's been used in the first policy uh, from this policy. So I'm just going to select that. So just pay attention to this. So which means this group will get this policy and this group will not get this second policy. So click next and click create. Here you go, guys. So um, before actually I conclude the video, I need to go back to policy one. Um, just to make sure that I've applied it to the correct group. Yep. Yep. That's, that's, um, wonderful. So, um, once again, the first policy is going to get applied to a test group. Um, and the deferral period for the quality updates and feature updates is set to zero, which means they'll get the updates as soon as they're available. And the second policy, which we are uh, applying to the rest of the organization, uh, the rest of your devices, we've set the deferral period for three days. You can change it um, as per your liking. Just for this tutorial, I'll select three days, uh, which means uh, once the updates are available, this policy will wait for three days before the um, quality and feature updates applied to the rest of the organization. Um, thanks for watching the video. Um, I appreciate your support. Um, please give this video a thumbs up and hit subscribe um, to subscribe to my channel. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Until then, take care and have a good day.